Hello and welcome to me playing Battle Chasers Night War. So I decided to do a thing for the new year. I have a very large and very, very large and, and very large uh, Steam library. And I realized I have not played a lot of the games on my Steam library. Which I, th I think that's actually a lot of people. Especially if you're someone like me who gets humble bundles and all these other types of different games for free or cheap or things like that. Uh, so many games in my library that have not been played. So last year I decided this year that I was going to be playing as many of them as I can. 365. That was the number I came up with because that's how many days are in that year. This year that we're in now. Years have passed. Since the great warrior and leader of men, uh -huh. Aramis, vanished. Left behind were his mighty gauntlets, artifacts of untold power, giving their wielder the strength to move mountains as the stories were told. Also left behind was his daughter, Gully. She discovered her father's gauntlets, setting in motion the events that would make her a target of great importance and bring her into the company of her greatest defenders. Yeah. Nolan, the wise and mighty wizard, whose tongue is as sharp as his wit. His mysterious companion, Calabretto, a war golem of immense power. Garrison, a swordsman, once brother in arms to Aramis, now sworn to protect his only living kin. And the rogue, Red Monica, who can be foe as quickly as friend. Together, they have traveled the capital lands while defending Gully from those who seek the power of her gauntlets for themselves. Nolan, on a personal quest to learn more about mana, which fuels the world's magic and technology, has led the group towards a mysterious landmass known as the Crescent Isle. There, vast reserves of mana were once rumored to exist. Rumors. As they approach the island, they quickly discover why so little is known about the area. Tourism. Just don't have it there. Alright. Now the rule is I have to at least play an hour, at minimum, for certain games. A lot of indie games, and they may not be that super interesting. Or even, you know... Interesting enough to at least record. Uh, this has very positive reviews when I checked before I started. So I'm hoping it's going to be a good game. Everyone hang on! What are you waiting for? Shoot back! With what? It's a stealth ship. This is stealth? Just do something. It's always on me, ain't it? Kids don't know how easy they've got it. We're being boarded. Golly, get below deck. You break easier than I do, remember? More incoming, port side. Oh no! Golly, what? I've got you. All right, Red. Looks like it's just me and, uh, uh figures. <laughs> D type movement. A bit of lag. 
Let me see something. That's all at the basic settings. Gosh. Let's for a few hours. I guess I wasn't completely prepared for that cannon blast. Was I dreaming or did you leap off the ship to catch me? I did. How'd we make it down in one piece? Nolan. We fell through a portal he opened, placing us on the ground with only minor injuries. Then what happened to him? We don't know. And Garrison? Monica? Garrison fell through the portal as well. <coughs> Monica appears to be missing, along with Nolan. Then let's get moving. They could be hurt! Garrison already went ahead to search for them. Are you sure you're well enough to move? I'm so woozy, but we don't have any time to waste. I'll be fine. From all that alcohol she was drinking. First, allow me to further heal your wounds. Then we will meet Garrison. Uh, switching party members. So each party member has their own unique dungeon skills. You can swap out the active party member in order to use each abilities to explore and interact with the world. You can open your compadium, compadium and check the skills section to see what each hero's dungeon skills do. Alberto's Revel Rival <laughs> Words. Words. Galbaretto's Revitalization Dungeon Skill can heal the party. Try swapping to him and heal your party. X. Space. Space again. Alright. Switch back to goalie. Uh, we're gonna go search around. As one does. Oh no. Oh, there's a chest right there. Let's go back. Looks like a chest anyways. Is there like a run button? No? Alright. Like double. Common parts and 14 gold pieces. Maybe we use the common parts to... Bear? Oh, hey. Drench Scout Tunic. Next to these pile of bones is a scrawled note. Awoke in the night. Didn't realize what happened to Richelle until it was too late. A look in her eyes. It wasn't like she'd never seen me before. She gored me. <laughs> bored her. She gored me real good before I could react. It was ever since finding that mana in that crack in the ground. Shouldn't have taken her so close to it. Tired. Getting dark. Anna. Yeah, the whole reason we're here. Uh, here we go. Looks like it is specifically for Goldie. Uh, this tunic smells a bit musty from constant exposure to moisture, but offers fair protection. I like fair protection. Right. Variety of miscellaneous ingredients used in crafting. Go back up then. Let's 
something gooey and acidy here. It's a slime. Uh, let's hit him with a gut punch. Suffered. And a jab. Oh yeah. That's gonna hit us. Poison. You poisoned a golem? Over over status symbols with your cursor in combat or in a dungeon to get more info about buffs and debuffs. Deals four piercing damage each tick. Oh. Increase physical damage taken by 10%. Hey! Still alive, still not to splurt poison at the golem again. Oh, uh, we'll wait till we get out of dungeon to do his attack. Ooh. Birds love him. Poop on him all the time, I'm sure. Blade leaf, common parts, and simple slime ichor. A chore? Ichor? Teal. your health. Alright, let's not read that. Garrison went northeast looking for Monica and Nolan. We should head that direction. I'm sure they're fine, but we should hurry just in case. Acknowledged. Because he's like a robot. Let's see, inspect. <clears throat> Worn letters on the top of the sign read, Talon Crossing. The plank pointing east says, High Lake Village, with the message, Not Anymore, carved cryptically into the wood directly over it. The rest is damaged beyond readability. Ooh, ominous. Well, I see a treasure chest behind this ooze, so let's go fight this ooze. Oh, slimy. This reduce all damage taken by 40% until next turn. If attacked while active, generate 5 overcharge. charge. Sure, give it a shot. She has defend 2, reduce all damage taken by 50% until next turn. The only problem being... That, uh, he's still gonna poison. No, or not. She's just gotten the violent route. Knocked out. <laughs> Common parts and simple slime echo again. Two gold. A whopping two gold pieces. And we got a. Is it Bale Scout's tunic? Attack power, more physical defense, more stamina, basic protection in combat. I don't like that my attack power goes to absolute zero. Hey, we got fishing equipment.
Ben want to go this way. Bite the creature. Ooh, lots of creatures. the spider. Jab the spider. Sixty damage to target, eight to nearby. Place a damage shield on an ally that absorbs thirty damage. This one shot. damage over four hits. If Sunder bleeding, the enemy takes an additional seven. Nice. Knocked out. Digger silk and another simple slime ecor. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Pick the loot, lately fell herbs, faintly glowing powder. So we'll just keep going this direction. All leads to the same place, right? Batu. Oh, I meant to do the heal thing. Jab. Gut punch. Jab again. And gut punch again. The old basics. Scraps of hide and can. That's something that uh, big robot man could use. Forgot his name. Galbaretto? Galbaretto. Oh, old cow. How do I use the ability?
Guess I can't. That I could. Gully, I'm glad you're all right. What you did during the airship battle, shielding the cannon blast. You would have done the same for me. Maybe, but with messier results. You're a brave kid, but remember, we don't fully understand the power of your father's gauntlets. You have to be more careful with them. I had no choice. No, I guess not. I believe he was trying to thank you. Mm. Have you found any sign of Monica or Nolan? I haven't. And this village looks long abandoned. There are lights on the horizon, to the east. Might be a town. We should investigate. If they survived, they likely headed that direction. What do you mean, if? Nolan saved us. He can save himself. And Monica, too. You're probably right. Let's go find them. Alright, let's go. It's just one spider. Cleave. Each damage to target and a nearby enemy. Rally strike deals 3 to 4 damage and increases haste for all party members by 10% for 2 turns. Consumes up to 40 overcharge, dealing 44 damage and adding 0.2 damage for each overcharge used. Nice. Defense parry reduce all damage taken by 40% till next turn if attack while active garrison's attack power will increase by 5% for one turn okay, Let's just do a regular old attack attack Overcharge displayed in red next to your mana bar It's generated by using regular actions overcharge is consumed in place of mana Mana used for bonus effects and certain abilities it goes away after combat though So make sure to use it while you can Chip. All right. <laughs> yeah. And you got to two. I oh, already started at two. Should have been at two. Coast Iron Ring of Blades. Uh, spoils of War, 104. A handwritten journal lentry is scrawled on parchment. General Savar returned from the main from last night because he came in darkness. Few got a good look at him, other than to say he seemed well. The wars elsewhere have taken their toll on the outpost. With ranks thinning and our defensive practices becoming lax, I'm not sure Revenant even bothered to take his patrol last night. But then he always did seem the lazy sort. That should change with Severus stalking the halls once more. Carlos? Carlos? Abilities outside, like on this map. So I'd like to heal. Hit him with the jab. Healing wave. Looks like she can use it more. Nature's Boon and Quake Fist. And more junk. 
will hopefully be more useful down the line. Sign leans. Words, words are hard. Road sign leans precariously to one side, reading north, arms way, south, wilderness. Said to the east is where he saw lights. That's where we're headed, right? I believe the town we spotted is just north here. Perhaps we should head there before exploring. Burrito is right. Let's head there first. Alright, you heard Burrito. Arms way. This must be the village. I see a few lights, but no people. Where are they? Let's bang on a few doors. That one is yellow. In and tap. What do you need? Let's chat. Rest. Rousewares. Sell items. Rest. You fought bravely today. Armas would be proud. Thank you. I. Wait. Where are you going? I'm just stepping out for a minute. Get some rest. What about you? Don't you ever sleep? Not if I can help it. You don't need to worry. The inn's safe, as far as I can tell. Calvaretto won't leave your side. Isn't that right? He's busted. Get some sleep, okay? Okay. It's not me I'm worried about. Daytime now. Uh, sell things here too, too, right? Full. Such is old equipment that we're not going to be using. Maybe I should hold on to it just in case it can be used. Yeah, hey, have a seat. Uh, for recipes or things like that. Let's chat. Where are we? It's the sign on the way in. You're in the town of Harm's Way. Don't worry, the name's more bark than bite. That's a relief. What tavern is this? The disemboweled traveler. Hungry? The wires he got. Granny's batwing pie. Hmm. How can you resist? Fishing stuff. Have pint or stay steady. Uh, we did get a ring, all right. Being imbued with offensive properties. So that should definitely go to... Uh, Garrison. He's the offensive one of all of us. All right, let's go over here now. Curio Shop. The door to the oddly shaped hut is locked. Strange tinkering sounds can be heard within. It's not. Tinkering continues, but no one answers. Let's go here to the collector. <laughs> Booty blade. Don't have whatever this thing is. Got some good stuff. Sendering golem plating, prosperity, bunch of stuff, fishing stuff, 
quests. Book of Secrets. A well-made side hangs from an oiled gargoyle on the door. It reads, Out to lunch. Rip the sign down and throw it in the dirt. Yeah, the enchanter's gonna remember me doing that. Oh no. Eastmaster Raha. Well, well. We have a fresh band of adventurers loose here in the Vale. Experienced ones, no less. We've seen our share of battles, and you? Ah, I have. Though, by the way you hold your blade, not the same kind. Let's just say my foe are the wilder kind. The name's Raha, Beastmaster Raha. As I see it, the only foes worth fighting are the untamed kind. And lucky you, this island is littered with them. So we've seen. <laughs> the slimes and bats in the woods around town? No, you're in for worse than that. We're here looking for lost friends, not hunting for trophies. Indeed, many get lost on this island. Rescue mission or not, you could use some basic advice to survive here. Take this beastery journal, track the creatures you fought. You'll find doing so rewards you with insight into their strengths and weaknesses. Survive long enough, and I'll point you towards more worthy tests. You may find it necessary when searching for your friends. Anyhow, the search will be brief. We'll make sure of it. Then we'll be gone as quickly as we arrived. I've heard that before. Don't get killed, adventurers. Till the next. She just gave us a Pokedex. Pokedex for monsters. Grimbeard Smithy. A heavy iron door, radiant furnace, and profloration. Profloration of metal working tools. Strewn about tells you this must be a smith shop. Old massive doors oh, open. Smith. Hey. Who the hell are you? That's a rough way to greet strangers. Burr, being strangers, you don't know how rough we get around here. I suppose we're gonna learn quickly. Hey, skin's got to be thick to survive in a forsaken land like this one. And your hammer better be heavy. Speaking of forsaken lands, how did you lot end up here? We came in on an airship. As we approached, pirates ambushed us. Seems right enough. Though not quite pirates, as you see. Bandits. Simple as that. Ah, oh, bandits. Just thugs full of hot air. But they've been a right pain in the ass recently. Bandits. Who do they work for? Well, being bandits. Themselves, mostly. Well, that said, they're acting differently the last few moons. Less scatterbrained, more organized. As a few of us left a bit worried. We were separated from some friends during the battle. We think they may have them, or know where they are. We'd like to chat with them. Huh, <laughs> chat. A few weaklings came by causing trouble last dawn. Chased them off down the south road. You can head that way. If you think you'll find your friends. If we don't, they'll regret it. Keep your head up. They must have a camp down there somewhere. Yeah, just keep looking. You're back. And nearly in one piece. Careful. Well, we got a mission. Still goes, can I... Oh, we can... Stop briefly, replaced by a few proof. Entities. Do it again. What's the meaning of this? Oh my, a war column. That is almost fascinating enough to warrant my time. Being fascinating is a requirement. Or is a requirement? 
Yes. Now please stop knocking and go away. And I expect you to buff out the damage in my beautiful antique entryway. Huh. To the south, let's go. And look, they're back. The things have changed. Let's fight the bats. Jab them. Hit them with the gut punch. And the swift strike. Parts. Keep it going. Let me get to that side. Swift strength. Jack. Just press E. South. It wants us to go right down there. Hey, more than one person. I kind of want to get rid of this green slime. But I think the ruinous bat probably has less health. And now we can actually see its HP. Must have fought enough of them. Anything I have to do with that little journal thing that it gave us? I defeat fifty of them. Slain five. Doesn't tell us how much health they have, even though we can see it right here. It's a bitch. Stats and ability details. Anyways, once you get to five, then you get everything. Slain seven of those guys. So I think that's what it is. Of oh, I guess if you get all four of those little journal entries. Investigate the campsite. Arcades in the middle of a forest. Someone is here. Yes, we should proceed with caution. Machine. 
19. Camp. Looks like someone was here recently. The smell is certainly fresh. The bandit Grimbeard drove off. Ambush! What the? He's kind of invisible looking. You lot should mind your own business. Liable to get hurt that way. We'll take our chances. Bit of a sweet drink. Jab. Poison. Double poison. Three turns anytime any ally receives damage, they are healed for three health. It's quick this do. Thirty-four damage to targets. Wildfire barrier swing in a rage wave. The letter opener. The blooded letter. This letter he was carrying has a seal. Must be important. What does it say? Hard to tell. It's half speared in blood. It does say outsiders, which must be us. Also referencing an outpost. The smith in town may know what that means. Why do I feel like this is gonna get complicated? On the bandit message, it's chased south. Bring the bloodied letter to Grimbeard. Uh, let's see something. We got a new sword. I'm gonna use it. We're gonna equip the artifact blade to the letter opener. Sorry. It's like a weird shadow step. Cyclone layered leather vest. For can never remember their names. Garrison. Garrison and Calabaretto. Let's see. Less weapon damage. Less stamina, more critical. 
Is it worth sacrificing 4 weapon damage and 6 stamina for 12 crit? Yeah, I like crits. Crit happens. Alright. Nothing. Let's leave. Spider. Hit him with the gut punch. Swift strike. And he's out of there. Pays to do a little extra combat. Get some other ingredients for things that I may or may not be using. And some extra experience points. Back. And nearly in one piece. I believe we found the bandit you chased out of town. In his possession was a letter we were unable to fully decipher. Hey, let's have a look. Yeah, ink looks fresh. Says something about an ancient weapon. Anything else? Outsiders arriving at the island. Likely to, uh, complicate things. Would it... Outsiders? Does that mean us? Yeah, it's hard to make out entirely. But it speaks of the iron outpost. That can be sure. What's that? And where is it? Mightiest military fortification south of the snows. Long abandoned. But bandits have been going in and out a lot lately. Skies know why. Gate north of town is locked to keep people from wandering that way. Here's the key. Well, you look likely to survive. But just in case, I've got a fine weapon or two for sale here that may come in handy if the talking turns to fighting. Some others around town have useful wares as well. You might ask around, see what you can find. If they answer your knocks, that is. Oh. So you can upgrade. Got an introduction into blacksmithing too. Can I blacksmith? Guess that means you haven't been to the iron outpost yet. Money. Interrupted my work. Ghost iron broadsword, let's do more. Vented cannon, which I have already. Forced wooden plating. Just touch. Bonus damage and stamina. Basic blacksmithing teaches one how to refine coast iron, scraps of hide, and rough wool. It includes recipes for basic equipment requiring them. I did pick that up. 
booster. Do it. There's work to do. I'll be here. Do this. Recipes and Come on in. Didn't we? We upgraded that this craft. Uh she a two oh eight. It's gonna be a while to uh, sell things need? in order to upgrade. So I'll just wait till I have five hundred gold. Part of me wants to get that blade. I think I should get the armor for sure. Things we don't really need. Maybe nature's touch. So I'm not gonna have enough for both the blade and let's see. That's gonna give us ten points worth more. That'll also do ten points worth damage and stamina. Or defense and stamina. And bonus damage. I did just get a new sword, so I think I'll buy that. And we don't have enough for the ring, so Come on in. just the one. I'll see you later. Wait, wait, wait. All right, what was that? Oh, for crafting. Doesn't look like you really have enough for anything. Alright. Back in here. Hmm. I hear you are going beyond the north gate. Maybe you aren't as boring as I thought. Take this flask. It'll bring anyone who's fallen in battle right back up. They are limited, but should ensure you live long enough to pay me another visit. Hmm. Yes, yes. Those ways. The primary elements includes recipes for basic mana flask and flask of strength. Buy that. Yes, yes. Finally. Small bottles. Alright. We're gonna head north. It's the northern gate key. Small bottles. Need small bottles. Well, this cuts off here. I wonder if I can go fishing. No? Fight whatever this thing is. No choice, we're cutting you down. It definitely looks like a bomb.
common parts and some rough scraps. The ruins just off the road here. They look military. This must be one of the Iron Outpost old way stations, which means the outpost is nearby. Should we search it? Don't seem like the highest priority. But we could search it. High priority. The gate grinds at you warily, appearing to wink with its one smoky eye. Is that thing looking at us? With only one eye? There's no obvious way to open it. Like some sort of riddle. Whatever the case, we can't open it now. Open its eye. We'll have to come back. Aha, uh -huh, nice person here. <laughs> Lieutenant Crusher. Borders, I see. Looking for trouble. Look at how fucking strong he is. Trouble has a way of finding us. Well, it's here. You're too late, though. For what? Ha ha! The dead will be lucky ones. Shots hitting random targets for 7 damage for a total of 60 done. Those 32 damage over 4 hits if Senator Bleeding takes an additional 10. Let's do that. Everything at him. It's like a boss battle. Got his knockout glove. Which I believe is for Gully. The people on this island are strangely cryptic. He was here looking for something. If we don't find Monica and Nolan soon. We're going to get dragged into it. That does seem likely. Yeah, it does. Let's find them. Again. A 
weapon damage, physical defense goes down, attack power, stamina goes up. It's a stunning move. Scraps of hide, being the powder. Seven. Attack. <laughs> Big ol' box glyphs. Good punch, let's go. Switch strip. And a jab. Ooh, didn't kill it though. See if I could step past it. <laughs> Quick step, increase haste by 100%. Stop, there goes my timer. Means we've played this game for an hour now. Moss covered artifact shard. It's a piece of metal. Very strange. It's an artifact shard. It's been here. It's being. <laughs> it's it being here is a bad sign. Didn't Grimbeard say something about an artifact at the Iron Outpost? Yes, this really does get worse and worse. The bandit nearby. Is he looking for this? Probably. But it's useless outside of a collection now. I hope. Let's get back to the road. Ooh, we can fish here. Fishing is a fun, relaxing activity. And it can also bring its own special rewards. Just make sure you have a good rod and lore equipped from the fishing section of your compadium. Walk up to the edge of the water and cast your line. Once you have a fish on the hook, pull your rod in. The opposite direction of the fish is swimming in order to reel it in. Be careful not to pull the wrong direction or your line may break. Uh, how do you... Got away. Darn. Thought I had it. Great catch. Medium fish chunks. We got a sea turtle. Fish chunks, spear minnow. Uh, 
almost lost it. Scooter. Medium fish chunk still from it too, but it's clearly a robot. It's a meaty robot. Mr. Krabby. Everything gives us fish chunks, even the crabs. Alright, well, isn't that super fun? Let's go back. Six forty five PM January the first, twenty twenty three, because it's the new year. I actually wanna save and exit the game. Not a bad game. It's not the reason that I'm gonna be exiting. I wanna edit the video and get it on YouTube before the second. I wanna kinda have a video out on my YouTube channel showing me playing these games, which is why I'm recording myself doing it. Uh, so yeah. This is just day one of 365 in order to play 365 games. Do I think that I will play all 365 games? Probably not. I tried doing something like this with painting miniatures. One miniature a day all last year. I got to day 11 and said to hell with it, I'm not going to. And I think in total last year, I probably only painted about, like, 13 miniatures. Uh, will it be the same for the games? I don't think so. It's it's a lot easier to sit and play a video game than it is to sit and get my paints together and spend, you know, two hours or more painting a miniature. Even though I do enjoy it, it is a relaxing thing to do. However, video games just a lot easier, I think, in my opinion. Just playing at least an hour, minimum an hour, longer if possible. Um, I do work a nine to five job, so I can only play for so long. So that's another reason why just an hour. Uh, this definitely does seem like a good game and I can see myself coming back to play it again. It is currently installed into the computer, so of course it's gonna be easy to do that. But I have so many games to play and so many games to play <laughs> very large very very large steam library and that's just the steam games I mean now there's so many epic launchers on top of me buying uh, retro games for older consoles too there's games that I haven't played for the older consoles that I've wanted to go back and play and games that I have played but never finished and I want to go back and finish those games as well plus a long extensive list of games that I do want to finish I am still recording and still actively playing uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors 3. I have a bunch of videos all the way up through the legend log uh, to the very end. And I've got that recorded as well for me to show everyone once we get there. That's currently what's being actively posted on my YouTube channel. Now we're going to start adding these as well, if I can get them edited in time. Anyways. I babbled on long enough. Good game. This is a good game. Alright, well. I'll see you all at the next game. Goodbye.